The movement so far has actually been built from below. We pressurised Labour into opposing this. We, we pressurised our doctors' organisations, our professional organisations to oppose this. That's the way it's going to be defeated. Regardless of what happens in Parliament, this bill will be defeated. Remember, the poll tax was defeated by the people. This is down to us. Also, we're part of a fantastic movement. We've got a common struggle. Because whether you're a student, you know, fighting for a student, the right for students to study without being paralysed by uh, long-term debts, or if you're a pensioner or having your benefits cut, we're all facing the same crap from this government. So we all need to unite to defend the NHS, to defend pensions, to defend student grants, to defend education and healthcare and social care for everybody. We can do it. You're part of that movement. Let's carry on until we've got rid of this government and defended the services that matter to ordinary working class people. The NHS only exists because it was because of working class people fighting for it. It won't exist unless we fight to keep it. You people are part of that generation that have got to fight to, for, the gener for the generations that have fought. To repeat what we've done after the Second World War, if you get my history lesson. Okay, thanks very much. Who's NHS? Oh, NHS! Who's NHS? Oh, NHS! Who's NHS? Oh, NHS! Andrew Lansley! Get out! We know what you're all about. Job losses, money for the bosses. Andrew Lansley, get out! We know what you're all about. Cuts, job losses, money for the bosses. Andrew Lansley, get out. We know what you're all about. Cuts, job losses, money for the bosses. That's what we're saying. If you okay. Is it on right now? Okay, Valerie's a, a patient. The NHS is going to say a few words. Hi everybody! Are you all to have a look at me? Right. I was born nine weeks early. To, no, if it hadn't been for the stuff of the Royal Free Hospital, I would not be here today. They saved me twice. So, I have to thank you then, and by thanking them, I'm not letting no fucking Tories or no yeah. fucking government take the NHS away. Woo! Yeah. 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 I was also at the Block the Bridge demo on Sunday. Yeah. 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 And I'm going to make sure that if cool. the NHS is, is to be quite tight, then the Condon will have my blood on their hands for the rest of their days, and I will be back to bloody whore them! Who's the NHS? Oh, NHS! Who's the NHS? Oh, NHS! Who's the NHS? Oh, NHS! Thanks, everyone! Yeah. Right, I'm sorry, I don't want to monopolise the mic tonight, but I've got to go inside because I've got a ticket and you've got to be in. Half past six. So, I want, to, I want to reiterate one or two very simple points. Leaves on the line. No driver. Cancelled. Dirty. No toilet. Of course, that's rail privatisation. And we all know what privatisation has done to the railways. Monstrous gas and electricity bills. Yes, partly it's due to wholesale energy prices. But we all know that these big corporations are making huge sums of money. Well, you know, if that's what they do to the utilities, imagine what you're going to get from the health service. And I'll finish with just two things. An insider of the US health market broke ranks and spoke at this year's annual general meeting of Keeper NHS Public and he had made a lot of money through the American health care system and he was on holiday in Pennsylvania and he suddenly said and I quote verbatim I had an epiphany in life because I saw poor American workers queuing up for 
health care provided by volunteer doctors as you get in the third world. And they were not queuing in a hospital. They were queuing in cattle sheds in Pennsylvania, in America, in the 21st century. And if you don't believe me, go on the web, find his book, check the facts, spread the word, because that is what a privatised health system looks like. And I'll reiterate one final point because I really have to go. Pick it up and pick it.